Kobe Bryant would have been 42 yesterday, and there were all sorts of tributes to him. Uh, in addition to just looking at all the murals all over the city of Los Angeles and really all over the country and the world uh, celebrating Kobe Bryant's life, um, there is something today, which happens to be Kobe Bryant Day in Los Angeles, something today um, that is really just out of the blue, a treasure trove of Kobe, item, Kobe items uh, were discovered in an abandoned storage locker. Correct. Somebody bought this storage locker, basically sight unseen. You know how it goes on the storage war show where they open up the locker and you can only take a little bit of glimpse in. And it was essentially just a couple boxes, what we're told. And inside of the boxes end up being a lot of Kobe Bryant stuff. Uh, now, we're told that these, these items belong to not necessarily Kobe, but Kobe's stylist. And so this, it's not necessarily Kobe stuff. It's maybe stuff Kobe owned uh, that he gave to the stylist at the time. But long story short, the guy that bought it ended up selling it to Storage Wars uh, star, Renee, who is famous for the show. And now Renee is trying to sell it all, basically, to get his money back, essentially. So there's all kinds of stuff in there. There's shoes. How much did he pay, Edward? He bought it for $13,000. He's expecting to get maybe triple, double, maybe quadruple his money for it. Uh, now, everybody's asking, well, if this belongs to Kobe, you should just send it back to Kobe. Well, he's saying that... Not necessarily, these items are Kobe's, and there's a there's a fur jacket, there's some game used stuff, there may be some jerseys that he wore, but he said it's not too valuable to Kobe. I mean, what's he gonna do with, with extra pairs of shoes? Uh, he did say, though, there are three items in this locker that are personal that he's gonna reach out to Vanessa Bryant over, and they and he says it's, it's Gianna and Natalia stuff, uh, Kobe's daughter stuff. There's two jerseys and a pair of shoes that he believes belong to Gianna. Um, that he's and he's, and he's, gonna, and he's gonna give it to them. Correct. He's trying to. He's reaching out to see if she would like it. But uh, the rest of the stuff he's trying to sell, and that's kind of the story with the whole lock. Oh, how did this? How did this? Uh, this stylist just abandon the lock? If you're that stylist, you're probably like, oh, yeah. What did I do? How did I forget to pay that bill? We, yeah. We've seen this a, a dozen times. I mean, Vince Young, uh, 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 Terrell Owens. I mean, we do this story maybe once a month of athletes or, or, or famous people forgetting to pay their storage locker fee and just letting it lapse. So, I mean, it's it's commonplace. And it's not necessarily – this wasn't like, you know, Kobe's MVP award. Like, we're talking jerseys and shoes and stuff here. So, it wasn't anything, like, insane. What's the deal? It's Sal B. I'm from Detroit. And I think it's still so surreal just that Kobe's gone, but it's cool that his, his legacy can be celebrated. And hopefully the Lakers can get that W tonight and go up 3-1. Okay. <laughs> I I didn't know we were going to, like, you know, root for the Lakers on this one. But, yeah, sure.